Right, I tell you there, champs, and welcome to the show. And it's been six months since this awesome Dell XPS 15 9560 has been released. Can you believe it? Six months. And have a look at it. Have a look at that Infinity Edge display. Have a look how sharp it is. How beautiful it is. It has a cracking display, the best on the market. It still is a joy to see that thing every time you open the lid. Now, I have made loads of videos on this XPS 15. Check out my playlist, like... It would have to be up 20, 30 videos on this. Anything you want to know about it, reviews, long-term reviews, gaming reviews, like how to upgrade it, etc. Check out the links in the description. And have a look in here. It's a disaster zone because I'm currently building an X299 sort of workstation computer. And I've been ripping motherboards out left, right and seminar. And if I didn't have this super reliable XPS 15, I could not do this. Because this is the backbone of my life where I do all my web surfing, email, etc and it's where I do most of my work on this and I also do video editing for this channel on this as well and if I didn't have such a super reliable computer here I could not be messing around with this desktop I'm building now because the pain I'm going through with all the troubleshooting with the X299 platform because it's a new platform there's no blame here it's just a new platform yeah if I didn't have that super reliable XPS 15 I wouldn't even bother trying to make an X299 build have a look at it it is held up well six months i could sell it as brand new and i don't go easy on my equipment and as you can see there there's a vinegar bottle there and there's a microfiber cloth and that's what i use 50 percent white vinegar 50 percent water and i clean that palm rest with that and you can see there's no smudge marks on that palm rest now we'll pick up smudge marks very quickly so that's just one thing to know and also to clean the lens i use these carl zeiss lens cleaning wipe to clean the gorilla glass there i do that once a month do not use that on the full HD version and don't use it on the palm rest because it does have alcohol in it and it may break down the silicon or the matte coating on the full HD model. Now if you want to know how this stands up after years like a couple of years check out CPU modders how tough is the XPS 15 video tell him I sent you really truly he is a student he puts his through the ringer and you'll see how this XPS holds up after two years use. This was the previous model, the 9550, but this is after two years. So you can see how well it ages. Now it just occurred to me when I reviewed the MacBook Pro 15 inch, it's probably its main competitor and the Surface laptop, they're pretty much laptops for landfill because once the battery runs out or the SSD starts playing up, that's it, chuck it out. This thing here, one of the things I love about it is you get service manuals from Dell, tells you how to service it, how to replace the battery, how to upgrade the RAM, how to upgrade the SSD. I'll leave links to those service manuals in the description. I do not want Dell to ever change that. That is one of the greatest things about this. You can upgrade the RAM, upgrade the SSD. When the 970 Pro comes out this year, whack it in, awesome. Now, a lot of people ask me about the next xps 15 i would still buy this now and i still think this is the best not only 15 inch laptop i think it's the best laptop especially for me personally but if i had unlimited money which laptop would i buy it would be this i still think it's the best laptop also i do like dell support their pro support is really good i have had like over 10 xps 15s cross my path from friends review units etc and i've only had one that had a minor flaw in the bezel and pro support i contacted them via email they replied within 24 hours and then they sent someone within 48 hours come to the house replace the lid 15 minutes boom gone i really do like their support also i think this quality control issues that everybody talks about they're overplayed i mean if you go to the internet and read all the reviews and that you'll think that every xps 15 has got a fault or something no that's not true you can imagine if three out of a hundred are faulty who are you going to hear from? You're going to hear from the people with the faulty units. You're not going to hear from the happy customers. If you're an XPS owner and you're happy, leave a comment down there because I get comments all the time saying how much they love it and they have had no issues whatsoever. So I think these quality issues are overplayed and considering I've had like 10 and I've had like one with a minor flaw, yeah, well... I can only tell you my anecdotal experience. So what's also great about this is it's a beast. It's a gaming beast. You can play pretty much the latest title, 60 frames per second, high settings, like Battlefield, Battlegrounds Unknown. Oh, I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna have to cut this video short because I've got some Battlegrounds Unknown to play. But um, yeah, even GTA 5 over 60 frames, high, very high. There are some games, all right, 
like DSX that you'll be playing like 40 frames per second high settings. So drop the settings down. You're going to get nearly 60 frames per second most titles at high settings. So it does game like a beast, but it's not a gaming laptop. So if you're really a hardcore gamer, get a hardcore gaming laptop like Alienware or Strix laptop or something like that. I've already said before in a past review that the things that are bad in this, they're not that bad. For example, it doesn't have the best sound. Well, it doesn't, but the sound's not bad. People say it doesn't have the best keyboard. Well, it doesn't, but the keyboard's good in my experience. So all in all, I can't complain with it. And this is like super value. I looked on Dell's Australian website and you can get the one terabyte model with 32 gigs RAM, Adobe edition. So you get Premiere elements and you get Photoshop elements for like 3,200. That is a steal, especially compared to something like a Mac. You're going to pay over four grand in Australia for an equivalent Mac. But I think I saw the same sort of thing in the US. I'll leave links in the description to my recommended model. Check that out for like $1,800 in the US. That is insane value for what you get. And as I said before, how much does an 100% Adobe RGB monitor cost? And the Full HD model is a great too. A lot of people don't like the glare. Have a look at this. This is full sunlight coming in this window into this room. And you can see, are the reflections that bad? Tell me, what do you think? The battery life is great on this too. I'll just show you some of the battery reports I have. You can see there's six, seven, eight, even eight hour battery runs. Yes, when I use it at night, I do dim down the screen a bit. So yeah, they're probably the eight hour runs. But I've been video editing with this. Usually I video edit the audio on battery. Of course, when I want to video edit video, I actually plug it in. But considering I've been using Photoshop and Premiere on battery, and you can see those six, seven, eight hours battery it's fantastic battery life for a 4k model and with the full hd version you're going to get 10 hours now people say i can't get those hours check out my laptop battery saving tips video and that's how i get that killer battery life and if there's anything else you want to know leave a question down there in the comments i'll try my best to answer it still the best i mean the zenbook pro is coming out soon but still on paper it doesn't look like it matches this all right it's got the ttx 1050 ti if you're a gamer yeah it will be better but overall considering i know the parts very well in it i can tell the battery size i know what display it has in it it's still going to be hard to beat this xps 15 i will save my final thoughts on that until i get the zenbook pro which will be in a couple of weeks but anyway thanks for watching guys if you want a super awesome laptop i think is the best laptop on the market period if i had unlimited money as i said i would buy this right now this is the one i love it give me a thumbs up if this video is helpful i'd like to really thank you guys for watching and until next time guys tally ho